Hey, my name is Daniel Guest and I've been asked to do today's prayers for the Thy Kingdom Come. So the structure I'm going to use for today's prayers is known as the hand technique. Now for those of you who don't know what the hand technique is, each finger represents a different thing that we're going to be praying about. And I'll just go through what each of them mean before we start praying. So our thumb represents things that are good. This is a time when we can thank God for all the things he's blessed us with. I don't think you have to look very far to find a blessing that God has given us because God blesses us in so many different ways and in some ways in, that we don't even know and then in some ways that are just beyond our knowledge. So this is where we thank God for everything good. Our next finger, it's a pointing finger, so like when somebody asks you where something is, you point, oh, it's over there. Now with our pointing finger, we think about people who need prayer for direction. For example, uh, a personal one for me would be uh, what to do um, in terms of going to uni or something like that, yeah. So that's that's something, an idea for that. Now, our next finger is the middle finger. Now, I have to be very careful with this one because it can, it can get a bit wrong. But this one is our biggest finger. It's our middle finger. And here we pray for the big things in life, the stuff that really, really matters. Again, I don't think you have to look very much further than the global pandemic that we're all in. Um, so you pray about big things like that. Now, the next finger is actually the, the wedding finger, the, the one that the ring goes on. And on this one, you think about the friends and family and uh, we care, the people we love and care about. And that's what we're going to pray about with this finger. And then you've got the, the pinky finger or your smallest finger. And this is where you pray about the little things that still matter and that God really does want to hear about, but are not as big as the, the global pandemic that we're all going through. So with that being said, let us pray. Okay, so starting with the thumb. Lord, thank you so much that you continually bless us with amazing gifts and talents that we use on a daily basis. Thank you for the blessings you've given us that, that we use, the, the phones that we were able to use to talk to our friends, the, the health and well-being that we have as people. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the sunrise on a, on a morning that we're able to get. Thank you that you've given us all these things. Now on to the pointing finger. Lord, we pray for those who need direction. We pray that you will give them your your holy, divine sense of purpose, that you will send them on the right path, that they will know what is best for them through you, and that you will give them the right path to go down, Lord. We pray that they won't be afraid of that path because you know that it will prosper them because you have promised to do things that prosper us and not harm us. Now, onto the middle finger. Lord, we pray for the big things. Lord, we pray for the situation that we're in right now. We pray that you will find the safest and quickest way out of this that you will give the government this plan and that people will know that it's your plan and it's your glory that will come of this Lord we pray that you will give the people the guidance they need to and we pray that people will have the sense to abide by this for the safety of others now on to the wedding finger. Lord, we pray for our friends and family, the ones we care about so much. We pray that you'll keep them safe, that you'll keep them happy. We pray that we might be able to see them again in the months to come. We pray that you will be with them and they will know your presence. We also pray for those who don't know you that we still care about. We pray that they will come to know you 
and that they will know what it means to have full life with you, Lord, and that they will have eternal life. Amen. And now on to the little finger. Lord, we pray for the small things. The small things that may be relatively not that important, but still mean a hell of a lot to us. We pray that in whatever situation that may be, that the best possible outcome comes for it, whether that be being able to spend time with someone, whether that be a decision that has to be made that you will know what decision to make. We pray for all these little things that may not seem like big things, but even as small things, they are still really important. We pray for all this in your name and in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So that brings these prayers to a close. And um, just know that this structure for prayers can be used any time throughout the year. It's really handy, eh? Handy? And um, I, I use it all the time and I think it's brilliant. Uh, I learned it at Scargill uh, during my eating on the road and I think, it, I think it's brilliant. So I will end this now. Uh, I hope you stay safe and I wish you the best. God bless. Thank you.